Then from there, you need to also uh, look at uh, look at this one. That is, use a criteria given below to uh, to get comments for for every applicant. So you are uh, 60. For you to be successful, you must have 60 and above in maths and a mean score of 55 and above then 50 and above in English or Kiswahili. So here we shall use a function called if and or. That is a new function that I will be introducing so that uh, you can be in a position to do this. Therefore what you need to do is just go to notepad, you open notepad, then I will be in a position to type the, the function here uh, using the, the, the notepad. So the function will be typed here. This is where I will type the the function. So uh, here, here you type the following function. So you type if or uh, i2 is greater than 50. This is for mathematics. This is for Kiswahili. This is for English. Successful and successful. Uh, that is how you use the if or to determine that. Then after doing that. Uh, I need to uh, just copy this downwards. So uh, I pull this down up to that point. So I get successful and non-successful. So I just hit that. I can also print, uh, press control tirade so that I can be in a position to see all my uh, formulas. You can see my formulas. Control tirade. And also control tirade uh, here. I can just press uh, control uh, tirade to take me back to the position I was in. So we proceed with the question. After doing that one, copy, okay, we have copied duplicate to a new worksheet and so I needed to copy the duplicate to a new worksheet and rename it as subtotals. Then I get the subtotals of ICT per school. So I go to this point, I highlight this, I copy it, just then I go to subtotals, subtotals. Then I paste my work there. I need to uh, uh, paste my my work. Uh, this is subtotals, subtotals. Then I take cursor where I want, go back to duplicate, copy, go to subtotals, paste. Now uh, I need to to do my uh, that is to do my subtotals of ICT. So I can just, uh, first of all, press this one the way it should be. So the first thing is to highlight. So I highlight this one. Then I go to data, sort. Then here I want to sort, you tick this one to get the headings. I want to sort using school. Then I click on OK. So you'll get that schools that have the same name uh, are together now. So the next point I need to do is to go back to data, then I go to uh, where subtotals are, subtotals are here, subtotals, so I click on subtotals, uh, let me highlight again, I write, go to subtotals, then here I choose in school, I want to do school, then I want to do ICT, here you leave it as sum, then I click on OK. So you'll be in a position to see that um, different schools, uh, like now Igoki, the total of Igoki in ICT, uh, Moro, total of Moro here, Nakuru, Nakuru total, Nyeri, Nyeri total, and then the grad total. That's how you do the subtotals. You first of all start by sorting. Then insert a row above the titles and insert the following heading and merge and center. Don't forget that you are supposed to merge and center. So I have my title. I just go up here. So I go to my results. Uh, click here. Then insert. Then I need to highlight the whole rows. Then merge and center home. Merge and center. Then you type your uh, heading there. So I have uh, now typed my heading uh, in this position. That's why I type my heading. My heading is... Uh, my heading is the exam analysis results. So the exams analysis analysis results. 
That's why I type term 3. Term 3. That's why I type my heading. Then probably the examiner can ask you to increase the font size. For example, that one can be the font size and bold. That's what you are supposed to do. Then the next one is insert a form that can be used to enter uh, data in results worksheet. Also, copy duplicate to a new worksheet and name it as filters. E extract successful applicants. So we uh, copy duplicate. So we are copying the duplicate. Go to duplicate. Uh, copy, copy duplicate. Uh, sorry, copy duplicate to a new uh, cell called filters. Uh, filters. Then I paste here. So I paste, go back to duplicate, copy, uh, go to uh, filters here. Yeah. So I'm supposed to go to filters. This is filters. So I go to duplicate, copy, go to filters here, yeah, and paste. Then I extract successful guys. So I highlight this, then go to data, go to filters then filters will appear here so success if i click here uh, antique or antique or then eight successful so i'll be in a position to see only the successful that is the successful that is what i'm supposed to uh, to do as far as that one is called so uh, to insert the form you need to add the form so i go to up here I go to more commands, then I just go to all commands here, then from there I can scroll here to get the, no I need all forms, that is all commands, then I scroll here to get the, the form, to get the form, that is the form, this one, you get the form, then add then okay so after having done that i can click the form icon and then this is my form this is my form you see how i have gone about it this is my my form so uh then i can proceed uh using filters worksheet plot a bar chart showing the last name and mean score rename it as graph Kali. so the last question is to print you print uh, in Radiscape, uh, the, uh, you put the grid lines, you, uh, you show columns and headings, that is for the chart. So this one is misplaced, these ones are supposed to be uh, for the chart. So this one should, this question should be the last question here. So uh, your chart should be Radiscape, showing grid lines, showing column and row headings, footers, information with the names, then you put your footer, uh, with the information and whatever. So what you need to do is to uh, we need rust name and mean score. So I just go across the form uh, rust name and mean score. So I highlight the unadjusted. I highlight that, and then I hold control. I highlight the the mean score. So to select non-adjacent cells, you hold control. Then I go to insert. I go to where the charts are. Then I click on bar chart. So I have the the bar chart. This is my bar chart. So I need to click on move chart, then new worksheet, and type here graph carry, graph carry. There is some underscore. So I have carry there. Then I click on uh, OK. So this is my, my chart sheet. That is my chart sheet. So after doing that, I can go to the other part. Like now, I needed to put the options, the chart options. You see that these are the chart options here. We have the chart options. I can click that, then tick. Like for example, I need to have the, when I click on the chart, I needed to have the, uh, the grid lines here. So you click, you put the grid lines as instructed. Uh, then uh, the axis, if you need, you see now here, I can type whatever I need in the axis, also here in the axis. So here, you just need to type whatever you want in this text box and in the other text box. So guys, that's 
the end of my presentation in KCSC 2022 uh, prediction that is in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. In my next video, I will be doing a prediction of uh, DTP and Microsoft Access. So guys, remember to subscribe, remember to share these videos with your friend, and also I wish you success in KCSC. Thank you very much.